Economic Stations na kwa sababu sisi tumekuwa tu yamani kuanzia asubuhi. Tuliamka kuanzia saa kumi na moja eh, saa kumi ya asubuhi tukasunguka vizuri. Lakini baada ya saa tatu na nusu ikawa polisi wanatukimbisha. Walijaribu kutubloka barabara mara mbili. Na ile inashangaza ama inastabilisha ni kwamba wale watu wanapigana ama wale watu imeonekana kwa mitandao yote mpaka wanadungana kisu ni watu wa ANC na watu wa ODM lakini majabu moja ile kitu inanishangaza sana kwa taifa la Kenya na huwa nasema kila siku kama vile huwa nasema ya kwamba polisi wanasukumwa sana kuna regional commander wa hii county mama ako kwa hii county amekuwa akipigia echesa simu akimwambia aende police station mimi ninashangaa sana kwa sababu mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa asubuhi na echesa nikiwa pale kwa police na wakati tulifika pale tukapata agent wetu wa wako na kuuliza yule chief agent akatuambia amepewa instructions ya kwamba ah watoke nje na raia walikuwa wamepiga kelele ilikuwa mimi nashangaa mbona hiyo video wanachukua kidogo wangechukua kutoka nje penye raia walikuwa wanalalamika wenyewe raia ndio waliitana na wakati waliuliza huyo jamaa mbona muna mumetoa agents wetu akasema mimi ni I mean under instructions na ndiye jeza akamwambia how akamgusa tu ile hiyo amegeuza hiyo video namna gani inaonekana atini kama amempiga lakini hiyo sio majabu sana kwa sababu hiyo ni kawaida ya Kenya tumesoea lakini nyenye nanishtua sana mimi kama sudi kama kiongozi mdogo katika taifa letu la Kenya hata baada hiyo wametukimbisha na mapolisi tumekuwa tukienda ile sasa inaitwa wakenda pande hii tunaenda pande hii wakenda pande ile tunaenda upande hiyo nyingine na mpaka sasa bado wanapigia hizo simu ataende police station. Hiyo inanishangaza sana. Na iliali unaona video kabisa senator wa hapa Kagamega na watu wake wamepiga watu wa ODM mpaka kuna mtu amedungwa kisu. Na wajeshikwa mpaka kwa sasa. Na hiyo ndio huwa si tunasema kila siku. Unaona pia wale wa ODM wanapiga wa ANC hawajeshikwa mpaka sasa. Sisi ndio tumekuwa wa amani kabisa. Tuna tulibriviana kuanzia jana tukasema sisi tutafanya na amani. Na ile nanistua tena Saidi. Tumekuwa hapa tukifanya kampeni ya amani na mwananchi. Wananchi wa hapa ni watu wa amani sana. Wanakaribisha kila mtu, kila mtu anauza sera zake. So tumemaliza kampeni kwa njia mzuri. Lakini mwisho polisi ndio wanadistract mwananchi akipiga kura na kuleta hii sarakasi yote. Bala wafuate na washike. Unajua ukishika mtu kwa ukweli kama ya kina malala inaonekana. Na sisi sasa hiyo mwisho watafanya nini? sababu kuna kijana kuna mtu amedungwa kisu which is very wrong ni mwana ta rafiki yangu toto na mwingine ule wa kakamega toto ni rafiki yangu sana kando na kama hata ko dm ni rafiki yangu ni mwana amepigwa na rafiki yake mpaka ametolewa manguo na hawa watu bado hawajeshikwa sasa najiuliza swali hata wanatafuta icheza kumshika he hii dunia ni bala na ndio tunataka tuambie viongozi e, wetu wale wakubwa kwa sababu najua pia wako na kwa mtandao wanaangalia kila kitu kinaendelea katika matundu na hata ile inaendelea kule kabichai watu wote wameshikwa ni watu wa huda ni watu wa ulbaro na watu wa ulbaro ukifuata vizuri ndio watu wa amani kwa watu wao wote kwa hii machama inaendelea na kile inaendelea katika ground sisi toshe hivyo sisi hata tumeamua ku retreat sasa tumeambia watu wetu sisi tuendelee pole pole lakini unasikia ati, ati, ati sasa kama mimi nilikutana na polisi gari gari saba yajaribu kuni block wa barabara inashindi what is this hii ni nji gani tuko ile tunasema kila siku sisi sio squatters na mimi na sitisa kila siku nasema hivi hii nji merudi kwa ile u, u, ile ile watabeli wale wakora watoto wa kanu na kadu wamerudi bado na wanaendelea lakini mimi nataka niwaambie nyinyi watoto wa kanu na kadu siku yenu karibu ifike kwa sababu ule mwananchi amepigwa kisu wale wengi wameumiswa magari imepigwa ime mawe hata kama ni ya chama gani mimi i don't care but how can you leave somebody mwenye amedunga mtu kisu baada anatembea na mnakimbisha watu wenye hawajafanya chochote is not is not fair surely eh hmm? hata kama ni kushindana kwa sababu ya kura sasa hii mapolisi wamejaa kwa gate ya hecheza mimi niko hapa kwa hecheza nyumbani na jasa mwenyewe alitoka kitambo polisi wamejaa hapa kuna gari sijui nane kwa barabara jeshi alikuwa amekuja mbona mnaangaisha polisi wa Kenya jameni 
polisi mwili watoa kuanzia juzi hata wajakula kitu mnawaangaisha tu mshika huyu fanya ile kimbisha ule sijui fanya nini yenye wangefanya kwa amani kama wakubwa siku ile wakubwa ta retreat kwa siasa na waje polisi wafanye kazi yao na waheshimu polisi hisa na kazi yote itaisha ya mwisho nimeshangaa sana hata IBC IBC awaje react documents ya IBC iko nje ya mkono ya IBC inatembea watu wa ODM watu wako naye mpaka wameanza kufanya tallying yao na shangaji wakati ajiaongea anything lakini wakati ile aijeza kusema atijua aligusa mtu ameenda ameita press hiyo ndio majabu sisi tunauliza katika taifa na ni na, na, na ni same same thing na ile kitu walifanya msambweni lakini mimi kwa sababu nimekuwa hapa mimi mwenyewe kwa saidi ya siku kumi watu wa matungu ni watu wako na adabu sana mm. na ni watu wako na heshima mm. na ni watu hata wewe jua wako mrengo gani leo ndo tutajua ni nani ameshinda na hiyo nataka niambie wa Kenya wengine i wish mngekuwa mnajua ile machafuko inaelelea matungu si watu wa matungu watu wa matungu ni watu wazuri sana mm. ni watu wako na heshima wanasikisa kila mtu wako na matabu sawa kama kwa Kenya wengine wanataka kusikiswa na kusaidiwa na hiyo ndo tumeita tumewaita tukasema ni mzuri pia sisi tuongee kwa sababu tumenyamaza tu tukiwatch watu wanakudungana fizu watu wanapazuliwa magari watu wanafanyiwa sarakazi na wile mama regional anatumana ati ho oh, eh mtafuta hechesa hechesa ni mtu mkenya na ni mtu amekuwa waziri na hakuna penye anaenda atakuja kesho ama leo hata mkisukuma muki, sana ama monday lakini hebu shika wale walidungana fisu kwanza tafadhali eh na hiyo ndio tumewaitia siku leo Ah, mimi ni mama kaunti wa kutoka kule Taita Taveta naitwa Haika. Na nataka kusema watu wa matungu ni watu wa starabu sana. Na tunataka kuwashukuru kama watu wa Uda, watu wa Hasla Nation kwa sababu wameturuhusu tukakaa na wao na tukafanya campaign zetu kwa amani. Na huo muda wote tumekuwa tukifanya campaign hatujaona shida yoyote na wananchi. Lakini tumeshangaa sana leo wakati tumeamka asubuhi na mapema sisi kama chief agent tukianza tu kutembelea vituo na kujulia hali ma agent wetu na vile uh, watu wanaendelea kupiga kura tumeanza kuona tukikimbizwa na polisi kila sehemu na tukifatwa huku na kule tunauliza shida ni nini kama tuna supervisor kazi yetu na wananchi wanapiga uh, kura kwa amani shida imekuwa na nini na kufikia sasa tumeona wale ambao wameleta fujo na sisi tunasema ni lazima hii Kenya iende kubadilika. Wakati wa kura polisi wasi askumwa uh, kufanya mambo ambayo hayastahili ama kusumbua wapiga kura ama kusumbua wale wote wanasimamia kura. Kwa sababu wakati wa campaign tulikuwa na peaceful campaign. Kwa nini leo siku ya kura watu wanasumbuliwa? Kwa nini? Hilo ndio swali tunataka kuuliza hii Kenya yetu nzima. Alafu nimesahau kitu moja ukiangalia vizuri kule London World, watu wameshikwa ni watu wa UDA ukienda kule Kisi wameshika mpaka candidate ukienda Kabuchai watu wote wameshikwa ni wa UDA mimi walipeana instruction at lazima ni shikwe na Echesa yani tunajiuliza maswali ukienda kule ni the same thing mbona hakuna ima kwa sangine inafanyika ine wa Kenya wote wanaona kwa mtandao haionekani inaonekana tu ndao tusukume hii watu wa, ya, wa Uda watu wa Ulibaro watu wa William Ruto hiyo tabia Mungu ataikomesha sio binadamu atakomesha mm-hmm. Mungu ataikomesha hiyo tabia. Mm-hmm. Hii Kenya ni yetu sote. Uh, mimi nataka niseme kitu moja. Unajua ni vizuri hata serikali kuheshimu wananchi. Kwa sasa mimi nataka kusema ni lazima watu wa matungu wapatiwe heshima. Wapewe nafasi wachague mtu anayemtaka wao. Sio walazimishiwe kiongozi. Na kama hawajasoma somo kule msambweni i think watapata shida sana hao jamaa kwa sababu wananchi wameamua na mambo yanaenda kubadilika it's either now or now hiyo wananchi wameshakataa sasa haina haja kulazimisha haina haja ile violence tumeona kutoka kwa ODM kutoka kwa ANC lakini watu wanatembea tu huru sisi hapa tunatembea na gari unaona gari ya polisi iko nyuma inakufuata fata hivi. Kwani makosa ni nini? This is very bad. Na mtaacha tu maneno siku moja. God willing. Hasan maybe ni. Hasan. 
Um, I think uh, just to join what my friends Sudi uh, and the rest have said, that the um, uh, campaign period was very peaceful. Uh, but today, the, the election day has been marred by various incidents of violence across board. You know, UDA is a national movement. We are not for regional supremacy. We're not running a candidate in Machakos because this is in Wakamba. We're not running a candidate in Luyalan because this is in Wakusu. We're not running a candidate in, uh, in Matungu because I want, I want to be endorsed by Uru Kenyatta. We are running because the mood of this nation right now is for progressive transformation by the African nation. And uh, we are extremely excited that we have been able to have an impact across board. We are running five elections uh, in, in, uh, in uh, London, in Roma, uh, no, not Roma, in uh, uh, see in uh, Western Kenya. So we are fairly uh, uh, appreciated. But we've seen the incidents of intimidation and double standard. I, I come from a background of human rights. I can tell Uru Kenyatta and his government to deploy violence against any formation will be get violence. I think you can fight the, uh, betrayal to this nation. But the platforms that lead us fight to intimidate other Kenyans that a police force service is able to invest, uh, uh, rather than preserve security, but invest in preservation of one side of violence over another, or any state agency for that matter to, to exercise uh, partiality, whereas there are definite constitutional safeguards. Like many as you all have witnessed, we've put up a very credible campaign. We are very confident we are up to it. We hope that uh, there will be no further attempts to distort the outcome of this results. We are confident of a victory. And I think we are a movement that uh, having four or five elections, if the ODM calls itself a national party, I'm hearing Raila blabbing how he's a national party, he can't even raise candidates across the country. And that's what I want to tell the people of Mombasa, the coast region, smell the coffee. The fellow could not raise a candidate in Nairobi before the elections were put off. He can't raise a candidate in, uh, in, uh, in uh, Kabushai. He's raising a candidate in Matungu because there's a pocket of blue votes. It's just an ethnic tribal outfit, and Uda is now becoming the national party. Uh, has to replace uh, this crude uh, ethnic politics. Mm. Uh, okay, me ni Mwana UDA for Kamega County. Na kama UDA chama ni chama cha Amani tumetembea, tumezunguka, tukiomba kura kwa Amani. Lakini cha kushangaza ni kwamba wakati tumeamka kwenda kupiga kura, unapata polisi wana target sana uh, viongozi wetu ambao wanatusaidia kuomba kura hapa sasa hizi hatujui hata itesa iko wapi kwa sababu tu wanamtafuta wanataka kumshika kisa na maana hatuelewi ni nini tumetoka Mbere polling station kuna mmoja wetu ambaye amekuwa kipigwa na watu wa ODM na polisi wakotua kwa wanaangalia hawafanyi chochote mpaka inabidi tunaenda huko kumrescue so kama chama cha UDA tumekuwa harassed sana na polisi na kusema kweli hiyo sio haki lakini sisi tunajua sisi ni watu wa amani tunaomba kura kwa amani na tuna imani kwamba tunaenda kupata ushindi katika uh, matungu constituency mbunge wetu atakuwa UDA na ataweza kuongoza watu wa matungu vizuri sana